Iran has cooperated with the agency in improving safeguard measures at the fuel enrichment plant and in providing the required access to the Iran nuclear research reactor IR-40 at Iraq for purposes of design information verification. On all other issues, however, relevant to Iran's nuclear program, there is a stalemate. Iran has not suspended its enrichment-related activities or its work on heavy water-related projects as required by the Security Council. Syria has not yet provided the necessary cooperation to permit the agency to determine the origin of the anthropogenic natural uranium particles found in samples taken at the Deir el-Zur site. Syria has not cooperated with the agency to enable the agency to confirm Syria's statements regarding the non-nuclear nature of the destroyed building on the Deir el-Zur site, nor has it provided the required access to information, locations, equipment, or materials. I urge Syria to cooperate with the agency in its verification activities related to the nature of the Deir el-Zur site. Since 2003, I have highlighted the merits of a multilateral approach to the assurance of supply of nuclear fuel. Reliance on nuclear energy is expected to increase in the coming decades, and such assurances would increase the security of energy supply. As I have said many times, any such mechanism should be non-political, non-discriminatory, and available to all member states in compliance with their safeguards obligations.